Hello and welcome back to Cassette Beasts with myself. Uh, we yet again uh, fainted, lost, hit something unexpected, uh, unexpected item in the loot area. It was a fusion monster that destroyed us. Um, probably because we were also like pretty run down on resources, but uh, yeah, so that was interesting. We are now back here. We've lost some items, but. We move. We, we we move on to the next thing, which is potentially going back there. I'm not completely sure though. Don't know if like we're out of, a bit not a bit out of sorts to be going back straight away, or let's have a look at a party. We do have brush room who can go up a uh, and be upgraded. So I might just do that for free quickly before we leave. Let's talk to this person. Probably won't believe me, but I saw a tiny little dominoff in the clearing in the center of Cherry Meadow. It wasn't just a baby, it was small to fit in my hand. How do you think it got like that? Something strange is going on over there. Okay, so that's all way off into Cherry Meadows. Uh, we'll leave that for now. There's a metal woman in Eastern Woods. We have met the metal woman, I'm pretty sure. He bumped into her. Uh, it was our request with Meredith. Not there currently. Quests. Quest log. All ever needed. I'm gonna get that uh, record since she wanted. Oh. So, you quit your job because your boss has kept screwing you around? <laughs> Pretty much. It's more than that though. If I went to work somewhere else, I'd have another boss giving me orders. The only way to break the cycle is to work for myself. No more bosses. Yeah, yeah that's a spirit. No more bosses. Live on your own terms, man. Oh. Through my career plans, I've hit a road. Though my career plans have hit a roadblock recently. What happened after I fell through time and space and ended up living on Monster Island? Mm. How is it the best of us? It's pretty uh, evident that is the case. That is what has stilted your career. I'm afraid, my friend. Um, skip a rest. Because we'll get our uh, upgrade from this into Fungo. That's cool. I like his mustache, kind of Waluigi vibes, Warrior vibes. I think it might be worth as well looking into our stickers situation. You've got to admire the resourcefulness of Captain Skip. They use it at the mouth of the river west of Harbour Town. Okay. We have kind of been over there. I guess, is the quest just to go and admire them? Or <laughs> what's going on there? Anyway, inventory. Let's get the stickers. Superheated fist, melee attack. Quite a good one. Um, what I need is some astral offense. Mind meld isn't really offense. Uh, an uncommon self destruct. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, self destruct. I like that. That's actually quite a cool one. Actually, it's passive. So rather than it being a oh yeah, you're gonna destroy yourself, it's more of a oh if we do die, then there's quite a good little hit for the next turn. Sure fire. That might be quite good for um. Ah, uh, well, it depends on the next move being that that move though. I was going to say it could be good for uh, our astral friend who when he sleeps has 1% hits but he would need to do the sleep first and that wouldn't really help so um it's a 20% roll it's a rare version of firewall it's cool switches uses form but applies a coating that uses I think this is one that can be good for Fungo, right? What do we not need? Poison pollen? Cool. Hello, friend. Captain Buffy's my name. No, Captain Buffy's my favourite. She works out in Cherry Meadow, you know? 
can go meet her at some point. I'm just gonna do let's, let's go and do something else for now. Uh, map. Go to the station. See what's going on in the north. It's back to water here. It's interesting. There is a uh, fusion beast, but I don't know if that's something we might be doing right now. Quick little uh, shortcut we have. Oh. Got ourselves our second bootleg, a fire brush eye. Right, let's get water coating on the stat. And I think I don't want you out right now. So I'm going to Galagor because he's good against the, the elements. I kind of want to take both of these guys, right? Okay, so we've got some healing now. As well from that war coating. I think what I'll do... So I'll paint white bush eye and record it. Will this... It's interesting to affect, see how this affects it, actually. So I'll be painting in water, so this could be low, but with the buff, will it make it a buff from becoming a water type? Let's find out. Yeah, straight up to 100, wow. Got ourselves a fire bootleg of Bush Eye. Now I'll record with Cass Chrome Tape. Go for a Bone Cannon. Let's hope it does enough to justify its selection. 57% off the bat, that's quite good. I kind of assumed he would smack me, but or go for me. 48% still good. Going off of like having a bone card on, on top of that. Yeah, 100%. Nice. So Brax suit has also been captured. The thing is with this game is that I don't it's one of those kind of games where it's so open-ended and so many different things. I just want to like train all these guys and find out what they become, find out everything about them. But I know that the series will be infinite if I do that, so... Hey! Maybe that's not a bad thing. Uh, Brax suits put a lot of attention into their appearance. They seem to be very, become very distressed if their collars and ties become lopsided by shell. He's looking very smart. I do like his tie. Welcome to the team, my friend. Uh, so how does crossfed work then? Switches to uses form, but applies a coat and it keeps its type the same. That's cool. So it's like a kind of equivalent of U-turn. Only your type doesn't change, essentially. It's interesting. Let's go into this, get a little buff in there. This is not really relevant, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ooh, Malcolm is going to 5 star as well. This might be the episode where we evolve a lot of things. So a solo bush eye on his own. Let's see how it goes, actually. Let's just test, let's test it out. Go to Malcolm. And then we'll do it in flame. Okay, so we're still plan coated.
Ah, okay, so we do lose our things, but we do get the coating, which is quite cool. So I guess it's quite a good thing if we've got like a good matchup to have to switch out to something that's going to do better because it has more health. Uh, that isn't necessarily going to be a good switch in. So it's just like quite a good kind of like double up. Cool. I feel like that's going to be an ability at some point. It's the, uh, the grass, like vine climbing. Um, <coughs> Battle person. Oh gosh, there's something really wrong with your aura. Are you sick? No, you should be. Cultist. And never mort. Haven't seen you before. You're a poison type. Uh, right. That's good against poison here. Plastic coating, I guess, maybe? It's about as good as it can probably be. We'll go for an inflame. It's good damage. And we'll go for a paint swipe, which is going to do amazing damage to just the cultists in general. Extinguished though, so it might not kill anymore. Actually, it will have burn, in theory. I oh, know. Oh, it will cross over though. We've plastic coated whatever comes in. No, no, we haven't. That's not how it works. <laughs> Yorman Gold. Right, Yorman Gold. Uh, I'm going to give you to sleep here. And. I will inflame you. Give us smack. It's not the. Uh, it's not the play. A water coating. And a bomb. <laughs> got a sleep talk okay I guess that's just like something everyone has then okay for a smack and a spit just want to see the bomb go off never lie battles won five star wing Liam as well so this is where we should be just finding a camp, right? And there's one nearby, so I'll go to that promptly. Been ambushed by two guys we haven't got. Uh, so we can put part of coating and an inflame, I guess. Weapon flinched. Which is a shame. Crossfades into. Decibel, I think. I like the idea of a sonic boom that's plastic, if if at all possible. And we'll go for a B random, I guess. Shield bash. Ah, uh, no, still there, but we do have now a double attack in plastic spit if we want it. I will go for a sonic boom there because it makes more sense with what we're doing. 
Uh, no, in flame. for a chrome type and a pistol bomb 68% chance not bad go to 100 ow still 100 ish Snooping. Let's join this team. Snoopins are master thieves and will often adorn themselves with their soul and treasures. As such, you can judge a snooping skill and thievery by the amount of trinkets it's wearing. Okay. Really powerful attack and speed on both sides. I guess, with it being a beast, I guess it's a thing that they kind of make up for that with stat, high stats distributions which would make sense interesting but now going off that it'll disappear won't it um, I guess I need to turn all those on at some point but I'll come back to that There's another landlord there. I think for the meantime. Well. Want to know where your cassette tapes come from? You'll have to beat me first. I would like to know. That'd be quite, that'd be quite nice. I should have probably switched up some stuff. Uh, I can go off and switch out here anyway to Cal Gore. And. Go for a ranged boost. And a bone cannon with a bomb bomb blast. Good damage. Who's next? Docky Sect. Again, it's a fairly normal matchup here, so just go for our usual here that's good damage again bone cannon should bring him down yeah uh. gonna seek us down hmm. more up ahead is where the tapes and cassette players come from it just popped up into existence a few years back rage has been raiding it for spies since then so you won't find many left in there I've heard it's haunted though what do you think I'm going to assume it probably is haunted. Let's camp up. Get some uh, tape Sorry. level ups. Sorry, I know this is awkward. We don't really know each other that well. It's not a huge amount for us to talk about. Oh, maybe putting it out is just making it worse. Maybe Meredith. Maybe. Broken tape's been repaired. Actually, Wingloom and Malcolmy. Okay. Miasmodius. That looks cool. I like, like little dangly legs. It's very, it's very cute. Packs of Miasmodius are said to soar through the skies and they're flying while it pops at a full moon. They use their many al alchemical concoctions in battle, unleashing their poisonous potions and deadly elements to lay waste to their opponents. Cool. And Wingloom. Let's see what you become. A Moth Manic. Interesting. The Moth Manic's whole body surges with powerful current of electricity. It can wield this power offensively and is able to disperse devastating bolts of lightning towards its target as it beats its wings. Cool. That range attack is really good. It's like good stats around, really. Nice. That's a much needed buff to our party.
Should we could go check this out, I guess? Ah. Get some wood. And a little roof entrance. Or mountain smash. Metal wheat basic tape. Not bad. Let's check it out. I'm being honest, I bet this place looked way tackier before all the structural decay. I might have post-apocalyptic chic. That shop there looks like the kind of place you'd find music, right? Let's find a way to reach it. I'm enjoying the music. This guy's enjoying chasing me. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what else there is around here. We've so much caught a fast here. At any point, so might be worth doing. Um, give a crossfade into Galagor, I guess, and then we'll switch into Mothmanic with Spitzfire. Target. What's the target? I think uh, recording here is the play. It's chrome tape and a thunder blast. It's a high chance already. Pretty decent. It's a one shot. <laughs> one shot again. Nice. Very effective. Foster is in. Welcome. Foster's ability to project powerful streams of pressurized water is tied directly to their emotional state. They are very easily startled and upset, which leads to them often unexpectedly use, which leads them to often unexpectedly use their water attacks without intending to. Okay. Good ranged, pretty good starts all rounds. Call for help. He's in there as well. Yeah, he is. Good stuff. Let's get this ghost. Possible. That's a ghost buff manic. So how do ghosts work in this? Um, time to find out. Go for a plastic coating. And a zoomies, I guess, to see if it hits it. Ghostly. It's not. Thank you for the contact damage stack. Now we'll paint swipe you. Um, we'll put it in flame as well. Just wondering how it works exactly. To just stop being a ghost after two turns. Flee. I guess that's something we'll have to bear in mind later on, right? It's just a thing when a ghost to like quite good forms of. Ooh, who are you? Let me in. <laughs> cool. Mask a toy. Right, I will record here. Snakeskin, because I'll be melting him. This should be good, right? Thirteen percent chance. In flame. It's now poison coated. Yeah, nice. Still pretty decent chance. About as decent as it gets. Mask toys in. 
Once some sort of carrot costume and a mask of toy is now closer to a shambling corpse. They're known to shamble endlessly near abandoned halls of Fallout Mall. Their polyester stuffing slowly leaking out of their bodies. Okay. Melee attacks very high. HP pretty good as well. Might be something to grow into. One of these days. Um a quick old plastic coating and never in flame we should just do it really yeah Five chrome tapes, tree bark tape, boil. Some good stuff. Some wood on the floor from the broken boxes. Might as well pick it up. Wood is always useful. Let's go. Path ends here. Ooh. Let's try to do that to a shack. Uh, perspective wise, that was very interesting. Yeah, there's no way we get up there, is there? I'm guessing there's some sort of thing that can assist with that. We are not there currently. Huh? It's just another train station. This is useful if we're going to, to our fast travel shenanigans. Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening platform A for you for travel. Now what can I do for you? Nah. Uh, just be there, be square. Having a fast travel spot is very useful now, though. Because it means we can do a little fast travel back to other train stations. Not to Harbour Town Cafe, though, unfortunately. I guess we can't pass that. Mask a toy in a wing loom. Okay. Plastic coating it is, and we'll inflame the mask a toy. Don't even need to be doing this, but for any experience, it's good experience at this point. AP boost from that, not bad, not bad. A short paint swipe wing loom. The zoomies on mask a toy, which was not my intention, but it's going to air coating now. Okay. Um. Well, I will paint swipe, but. It's not going to help me. He's dodging behind his thing as well. Crazy guy. Oh, it did help. Okay, cool. Nice. Kind of forgot about the uh, ticking timer of his, of his uh, little thingy. I guess I'm not allowed to uh, go past beyond that. Is there anything I can use to like bait that? Or do I have to go up and around somehow? No, we're back out. Just wondering where that went. Or it's different. Um a quick camp. Okay. 
because why not? Maybe it's different at night. Who knows? I feel like these are going to be useful, I know. Let's take this into like a shack. Oh, that's not how that works. Where else we can go? If I fall down here, what happens? Nothing. Ooh, Arkit. Good you. Look cool as well. Right. Let's give her a plastic coating. And I'll inflame Mothmatic. So I'm going to go for a paint swipe on our kid and record it. Because so that's what we do. 18% chance, not bad. That is going to harm our chances a little bit. A lot of it. Hopefully this does a lot. It does. Very good. To a 72. Nice. Arkid. Welcome. The Arkid the first spotted a new world after the arrival of Fall Down Mall. There have been seen. There have been. There, there they have been seen running around, jumping on the heads of other monsters, and generally displaying a radical attitude. Radical little fella. Really, really fast. Really fast. Pretty good melee as well. I like the look of them. Off he goes, though. And... For a party coating again. And an inflame on my flag. And... A smack, because why not? Inflame will take him out anyway, so... That's another entrance. Okay. Can't go through there. Can go through here. Where is this? There's an arcade up there. Hey, dude. Ah, okay. I've turned arcades. On. Let's get some plastic coating up and another in flame. Arkid certainly is a fast boy. We have established this. Down. Level 2 for Decibel. Okay, I can see what that is doing now. That's kind of buffing on that side, and that electric is now gone. So if I loop around. Oh, yeah, this is the entrance around here. Okay, so this is now open. So is this side. Here we go. Can't really get over here. We can get over here. Lots of ghosts around here. Ooh, spooky. Meredith just tipping to me that was like equally spooky. <laughs> but 
game design and then Meredith appearing in that box is also spooky. What have we got here? How do I open this? Ah, it's hidden. Can I do it jumping? Yes. Cool. An old book. Zoomies. Pulp. Plastic. Wheat. Tree bark. Loot it up. Turn the embosser. Oh, these guys are creepy. Doesn't look there's anything really here. Creepy, creepy vibes. Electro Shack. Ah, there we go. So now we've got our roots up and down. get across there am I? No. Um, in terms of advancing, I'll pull that again, that'll come down. So whoever it is, no. run away from this if we can. Yeah. Okay. Let's go check out this place. How we gonna... Done that. I suppose now that we've unlocked that in the electric shack, we can go above with ease. And this will help us in some way. Right? Ah, uh, yeah! There we go. Uh, Vinyl beats. I guess this is a place. Should we go inside? Is it? We need to have the key. Okay. Maybe we've established this already, but who knows. Must be around here somewhere. I'm so close. Let's have a look. Mac and the Awesome Five. Mac to the future. This is not it. Proc Gen. Dream of Electric Sheep. Sounds cool. Not the right record though. This record has the Witch House written on it in big red letters. What? Yeah, Mark. You found it. Huh? Wait. So it's not right. Timeless and Strange. That's not the name of the album. This cover is slightly different too. The track listing. I don't know these songs. Ah. There's some alternate universe version? The one I wanted isn't here. I knew I shouldn't expect anything good to happen to me. Typical. Typical. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh, what happened? Cass, are you okay? The record. I dropped it. Can you see it? No. Unless. Oh dear. I see what's happening. What? What, what is that? Why does it look so wrong? It hurts my head just looking at it. Cass, it's an archangel, isn't it? I knew I felt it. An emptiness. A hole where a heart should be. It empowers me. I wish to consume it whole. Huh? Who are you? What are you talking about? Your kind could live such rich lives, but instead you trade it for hollow symbols and artifacts. You exchange something meaningful for nothing. My castle is filled with all the emptiness you'd leave behind. Your castle? The mall? Are you serious? This place is a ruin, filled with trash. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yes, it is nothing. And I am the king of nothing. 
come. Let me consume your emptiness. I'm getting a feeling we're going to eat shit here. This guy's... Oh, okay, he's level 24. Uh, we do need to bring him down as soon as possible. Don't actually know what type he is either. Um, but I suppose that doesn't matter if we do things in the right way. Go... I'll go... Um, Miss Modius. And I will pop up a just a tempo spit. Slippery grip. It'd be so easy. It's so easy to just give up and die. But that's not me. I'm sick of letting myself down. Castle Meredith's hearts act as one. Mias fire. That's a curious looking fella. Right. Let's do this. We've got all these moves now. Should we go for a B random? Why not? Energy wave. Calls to arms. Oh dear. Right. Let's go for this instead. It's not doing anything really I think we need to start going for like this one for instance take out his fellas it's poisoned now trick we've been leashed Item. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Can we use this on? No, I guess because we're. Uh... Levels up a character. Cool. I didn't even know I had that. Right. What have we got? I think it's got to be Bomb Bomb Boss again, hasn't it? Oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. That's just stupid of me. Uh, this one. He is full AP now, which is not ideal. And we're gonna die here, right? Bomb Voyage. So that just completely wipes him straight away. Okay. We'll go Decibel. And Moth Manic? Let's do it. And fuse. Desi Manic. Let's go. A hurricane. It's a whole team and destroys walls. That's cool as shit. Do it. We are not bearing well here. We need to hit a melee attack now, right? Wallop. Pass the bomb. That's good. That's really good. Cool. And we'll go for a... a hurricane. Why not? No, we're monarch down. Victory. It's our first win against an archangel. We've got some olive oil. We've all in. 
did it. We did it. We're alive. We fused. It's funny. It, the uh, Archangel there reminded me of like a lot of. Um, I guess they've been two D two D animated potentially in the same way. Of um, what's the T T kind of platformer game? You know what I mean. Um, obviously. Um, but yeah, it reminds me a lot of that kind of animation style anyway. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the east your wings must fly. To the place only I have known. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. Cuphead. Yeah. Nice place you have here, pal. But someone of your potential could do a little better, don't you think? Don't mind me. Ugh. Ugh. I realised that this was really a trivial thing to come all this way for. And a really stupid thing to nearly die over. You didn't have to do this. Thanks, mate. I think I've had enough of abandoned malls and mortal peril for today. Come on. Let's get back to town and uh, check this record out. So the whole fusion thing, I felt like we should uh, talk about it. It's pretty cool, right? It certainly is something. It's like our minds merge and I'm no longer me. Afterwards, whilst I can't remember it, it doesn't feel like it's something that I experienced. It's like remembering a dream. Maybe our brains just aren't equipped to process it. Um... Had you uh, fused with anyone else before? Mm, no, it's a big deal if you have. I just wasn't sure if that was your uh, first time. Uh, this is coming out wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Um, I've been mean to ask. Uh, what makes you so sure that you have a weighted return home? I had a vision. Uh, you're going to have to tell me the full story here, mate. Huh. huh. That's pretty wild. I'll hold up my end of the bargain. You help me find a record, I'll help you find a way off a new world. Oh, I almost forgot about the record. <laughs> this is pretty good. I mean, it's not the same album I used to have, but it's familiar enough. Uh, spent my teen years being very miserable and bad with people. When I went to college, I wanted to change, for real. The record was kind of a soundtrack to me. Like, trying to change and get better. Not that I did. I almost made lifelong friends, but they didn't speak to me anymore. I know it's me who's the problem. But I want to keep trying. Maybe that's what Archangel meant. Maybe I spent too much time distracting myself with stuff instead of actually trying to live. But even if we didn't find exactly what I was looking for, I'm okay with this outcome. You didn't need to risk your life to help me. A lot of sucks about New Wirral, but... You're kinda cool. You're kinda cool. Quest complete, all I ever needed. And you've got a love heart with Meredith. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Meredith. Fusions you form with Meredith now have plus 5% added strength. Um... So, uh, what was with that triangle-headed man? Did he warp the Archangel away? I don't know what to make of that. Anyway, you... Uh, said you had a cryptic lead you were pursuing. What was it? To the east your wings must fly? To the place only I have known? That's not much of a lead for anything. Sorry, mate. Uh, I guess we'd better get back to adventuring. Didn't you hear some rumours about something happening in Cherry Meadow? That might be a good place to check out. Cool. So Cherry Meadow is the next place to, ch to check out. With Meredith, I guess. But for now, I will call the episode there. It's quite a long one. Um... But a successful one. We beat our first Archangel. Uh, first proper Archangel, really. And going on from here, I guess, more of the same. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next episode.